Does this look like you trying to fit learning French into your schedule? Stay tuned. Salut à tous, it's Marie from JustFrenchIt.com and today we are going to talk together about how to find time to study French and to learn French when you are on a busy schedule. I'm going to be straightforward with you. If you don't take time to learn French, you won't learn French. It's crucial that you find ways to implement language learning sessions in your daily life and I do say daily. Sitting down one hour per week with a teacher, it's great, but it won't help you improve much if it's the only thing that you're doing. Now, that being said, it is possible to learn French when you're super busy. In fact, learning French when you are busy relies on only one principle. Learning a language efficiently is about three things. Knowing what you want, knowing how to get there and getting there, aka knowing why you are learning French, selecting the right method for your case and showing up to do the work. A bit oversimplified, but hang with me. So number one, knowing what you want, I assume you know what you want. If you don't, please download the roadmap to fluent French in which I take you through the steps. Number two, selecting the right methods to get there. In your case, being a busy person, it's all about finding little windows of time throughout your daily schedule where you can actually study French, where you can actually do what I'm gonna call in this video, learning activities. And number three, you actually have to show up to do the work. So the one principle is actually to fit your learning around your schedule by dividing your learning into little activities. Before we dive in the activities I'm going to recommend you do and you fit in your daily schedule, I'm going to touch up a bit on passive learning and active learning because it's really important in your case. But what do you mean by passive and active learning? Well, a passive learning activity is when you're not active. No kidding. For example, when you're watching a movie, listening to the radio, reading a book or even listening to French music, you are not active, yet you are still learning, right? Active learning is the contrary. You are actively learning French when you are uh, writing something or speaking French. There's some sort of action involved. Now, if you are struggling to find time to learn French, you are going to be tempted to overuse passive ways of learning because they're very easy to implement in a busy schedule. It's fine, there's nothing extremely wrong with it and I actually recommend beginners to start there but you'll find that your learning curve is really slow. In short, you'll feel like you're not making any real progress and you might be tempted to give it up altogether. Don't, you just need to tweak your language learning a tiny bit. You guessed it, you need some active learning activities, but they are probably the hardest to implement in a busy life. But they're so rewarding, it's definitely worth it. Active learning is actually essential to learning a language and especially learning French, because you can't learn French solely by watching TV. I mean, it's a myth, you can't do that. Although there's a way to get much more out of your passive learning activities and we'll see that together at the end of the video. So stay tuned until the end of the video. Okay, now let's dive in the passive activities for busy people learning French. And there is three of them. And the first one is listening. There is a myriad of uh, learning resources on the web. We're talking podcasts, we're talking the radio, we're talking songs, we're talking audiobooks. The trick to fitting listening in a busy schedule is to find times where you're actually doing something else but that don't require high focus. For example, when you're cooking, when you're driving, when you're cleaning. Don't do it when you're supposed to write an essay for school or university or if you are doing your taxes. But activities you're doing every day, or so I hope, you can and probably should put on some French music to get used to the sounds, listen to a podcast to, to learn some new words or a new skill, or listen to that book you've always dreamt to read. Second activity, watching. You're probably watching too much TV anyway, right? So why not using that time to get in some French? I mean, it's a popular way to get into languages and it's not only beneficial for your language skill, it's also good for your cultural learning and cultural openness. Now, it might be less passive than just listening, but then you'll get a bit more out of it too. It doesn't have to be a whole movie, although if you are into movies, I actually have a video on the subject. It can simply be watching a YouTube video in French when you're having breakfast, or right before lunch, or whenever you want, really. Regarding the subtitles, please put the French subtitles as soon as you can understand basic sentences. And the third activity is reading. Yes, reading is still a passive activity. Well, it depends on your level. If you're a beginner, maybe reading is not so passive because you have to check 
Yeah. But if you are an intermediate, then you don't need to check uh, every word in a dictionary. It's definitely a passive activity. If reading a novel in French tickles your fancy, I actually have a video on the subject. But it doesn't have to be a novel. It can be a newspaper, it can be a blog, it can be a short story, it can be anything really. And it's very easy to do that right before bed. Now you should pick one, two or three of those activities to do daily. And actually do them. Remember to mix up everything from time to time to learn even more efficiently. Do you want to learn French? And I mean real French. The roadmap is going to guide you through all of the steps you need to take to learn French. So go and download it for free on my website. The link is in the description below the video. Now active activities for busy people learning French. There is two main active activities. And the first one is writing. Yes, practicing can also be something you do when you write. You can find someone to send emails to in French or to chat with on the web or even send letters if you are old school. If you struggle to find someone, you can also just start a journal or a blog in which you can write what you did during the day or what you did at your job if you're learning business French, that's very good. Things you'd like to do, your opinions, anything you want really. Now, don't go and write a novel, that's not the point. Although if you are into that, please go and do so. But a few sentences should suffice if you are a beginner, a tiny bit more if you are more advanced. Again, you have to transform this into a habit to make it work. So pick a time of the day where you will always write a few sentences in French. It can be in the morning, it can be before bed, in the evening, before dinner, whenever you want again. The second activity is actually speaking. And this is the most powerful activities that you can take to improve your French. Because I assume you're learning French because you want to speak it, right? Now, I know it can be a bit scary, but the more you'll do it, the easier it will become, really. So just dive in now and that way your future self will thank you. Get yourself a teacher to whom you can speak weekly or a language partner to whom you can speak once or twice a day. Try to implement more speaking in your weekly activities. I know it's going to be hard to do it daily, but at least try to do it once or twice a week. Because if you are busy, I assume you're looking for activities that actually give results, right? So speaking is the most powerful and the one that will give you the most results. So make sure to actually speak French. You should pick at least one active activity to do Daily. And as the passive ones, you should rotate them according to your goals. Now, my trick to transform any passive activity into an active activity is to repeat. Repeating what you hear will improve your accent, your pronunciation, your understanding of French structures, your vocabulary, because it will make the vocabulary you encounter actually more memorable. Become a parrot. You have to repeat what you hear. When you're listening to music, sing along. Are you listening to a podcast? Mimic the words that come back often. Watching a movie? Act it up. Copy the sentence, intonation, exaggerate it. Reading? Read aloud. Now don't be afraid to be wrong or to look ridiculous. This is not the point. The point is for you to improve. You might be feeling a bit overwhelmed at this point and that's okay. I'm going to explain to you how to fit all of that into your busy schedule. What you need is simply a system so that your practice becomes a habit. For example, and these are examples, so you have to create your own schedule around your downtimes, around what you're doing each day and what you want to learn. This is the example number one. If you have 45 minutes per day when you're having breakfast, you can watch a YouTube video in French or using your favorite application to learn French. It can be Duolingo, Memrise, whatever you want. That will take you between five and ten minutes. Second activity is on the way back from work. It's karaoke time in French. That is about 10 to 20 minutes and back at home you can chat online in French. If you want website I actually have an article on the subject which I will put in the description below the video. Try to use the words you've learned during the day here and that will take you about 30 minutes and that's it that's 45 minutes per day and you can check it out. You have one passive activity in the morning, one passive that kind of become a bit more active with the karaoke time and one active activity. Example number two 35 minutes per day. Mm. Now, while you go to work, you are listening to a podcast and repeating the words you are hearing. That is a passive but active activity. Or you can use one of my audio training that come with the ebook show of your French. That will take around 20 minutes. After dinner, it's time to read an ebook or a blog post in French or watch a movie. It doesn't have to be a whole movie. It can just be 10 minutes of a movie that you watch a bit every day. Now, right before bed, you are writing an entry into your journal about what you did today. Active. 
learning and from time to time because that is only 35 minutes per day so that might be a bit light from time to time you have you are sorry you are having coffee with a french native or someone who speaks french between 30 minutes and an hour in short you should pick one or two passive activities per day one active activity per day and implement them in your daily schedule to make a habit out of it and rotate them regularly to make sure to learn everything uh, from writing to listening in French. Also, you don't have to be so serious about it. You know, it all depends on how quick you want results, what your goals are and what activities you actually want to do. Are you guilty of overusing passive ways of learning? What are you doing every day to make your French better? Share it with us in the comments. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you are not already and I'll see you next week for another video on Just French It. À la prochaine!